Grief and outrage are gripping Japan. Hundreds are gathering outside the prime minister's office to mourn. Silently, they held signs denouncing the killings of the two Japanese hostages by ISIL. CCTV's Terence Terashima reports Tokyo is vowing to work with the international community to bring justice. Despite efforts by the Japanese government, the hostage crisis ended tragically. A little while ago, a video that is believed to show the execution of Kenji Goto was released on the Internet. The news of Islamic State militants executing the Japanese journalist Kenji Goto came in early morning hours on Sunday. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe expresses anger, vowing to bring those responsible to justice. I feel indignation over this immoral and heinous act of terrorism. I will never forgive these terrorists. We will coordinate with the international community to make them pay for their sins. The negotiations for hostage exchange reached a deadlock after the Jordanian government demanded proof of life of the Jordanian pilot Muab al Kasesta for exchange with a failed suicide bomber, Sajida al Yashawi. Japan was placed in a difficult position where it had to rely on the Jordanian government to win the release of al Kasesta and Goto. Goto's mother braved herself in front of the camera after hearing the fate of her son. He always hoped to make the world a place without any wars and to save children from war and poverty. I promise here to carry out his legacy, hopefully with your support. It was a sad day for Japan. Japan never had a negative image of Islam as a religion. This kind of act will only cause misunderstanding of Islam and people in the region. Some expressed their anger and supported coalition efforts to eradicate Islamic militants. I think it may be necessary to use force to prevent such unjust actions by IS. Of course, we have to debate on the right way to use such force. Many people thought that maybe Japan still lacked the understanding of the culture and situation in the Middle East. Experts say the Japanese government may have to reevaluate its approaches towards diplomacy, investment and security in the Middle East to prevent future reoccurrences. Terence Terashima, CCTV, Tokyo.